This video is brought to you by the courses linked down below on building your wealth from real estate investing, stock investing, options, technical analysis, real estate sales, YouTube videos, property management, you name it. Check out the programs and that expiring coupon code which expires this Friday. Price will be going up down below and let's get into the video. Hey everyone, me Kevin here. Is Kathy Wood paper handing Tesla? She just sold $297 million worth of Tesla stock just this month alone. And folks are wondering, What's happening? Has Kathy's insanely high conviction in Tesla shifted? Has her 3,000 plus price target by 2025 of Tesla stock changed? Is she now a paper-handed weenie baby? And why even would she remotely consider selling Tesla? Is it the infrastructure bill being drafted to purposefully exclude Teslas because the United Auto Workers Union lobbyists, that's a mouthful, hate the fact that Tesla doesn't use unionized labor? I don't think so. Is it because Tesla's finally honoring their contracts on their solar roofs and not doubling the cost of people's solar roof installations, but instead in court documents obtained yesterday suggest that, hey, We'll honor the contracts we signed. We'll install those solar roofs at the, co at the cost that we originally quoted, not that inflated cost we wanted later. No, I don't think that's why Kathy's selling Ezer either. <laughs> uh, what about the fact that Tesla is ending their solar subscriptions, which I thought was an absolutely incredible feature of Tesla to essentially get Tesla solar panels installed on a lease at essentially no upfront cost other than the monthly fee, and you could pause that monthly fee at any time, but Tesla has now canned these solar subscriptions, probably proved not profitable enough, which makes sense because it was a deal that was too good to be true. What about that? No, that's probably not why Kathy's selling either. What about the fact that Tesla's autopilot still shows some issues, although version 10.1 has been pretty freaking amazing from everything that we can tell, and the vehicle continues to get smarter and smarter and smarter driving itself. No, that, that actually seems like a good thing. That, that probably would make me want to buy Tesla more, so I can't be, can't have anything to do with autopilot. What about all those investigations into Tesla's accidents? Well, no. There are notoriously few of them compared to other manufacturers, so I, I, don't, I don't think it's that one either. Uh, well then, why? Why would Kathy Wood be selling so much Tesla, Tesla stock? You know, when, when we compare ourselves to Kathy Wood, we think, well, wait a minute, like, we love Tesla. Uh, at least most of us probably do. We, we wouldn't sell Tesla unless all of a sudden our conviction had changed, would we? Well, maybe we would. Because there are three reasons why Kathy Wood is actually selling. In my opinion, there are two primary reasons why Kathy Wood is selling Tesla. And it has absolutely nothing to do with any of the FUD in the news or any of the things that we just talked about. Instead, it's a lot more basic. Now, it's helpful to know what an ETF is, which is what Kathy Wood sells you, a product, an actively managed exchange traded fund. And it's really important to separate this because we hear ETF and we just think it's one thing, but really what an exchange traded fund is, is just like a mutual fund. It's a pool of money and it just happens to be on the stock market because it follows certain rules and registers, which means anybody who buys the ticker symbol is basically depositing money into the fund. So let's do an example here. Let's say you had your very own actively managed exchange traded fund and somebody deposited $100 into your ETF. And you said, hey, you know what? I'm going to put $10 into Tesla, $5 into Apple, and $5 into UiPath, the other tech company. Now you have these allocations, right? 10% Tesla, 5% Apple, 5% Path. Well, what happens when Apple goes up, Tesla goes up, and UiPath goes down. Let's say Tesla's now $12, $6 at Apple, and UiPath is at two. Well, now assuming you have the same pie, your allocations are off. You've got $12 in Tesla, you got $6 in Apple, you got $2 in UiPath, so what do you do? Well, you sell some Tesla and you buy some UiPath, which is literally exactly what Kathy has been doing. Which makes complete sense because if you look at the sticks, Tesla since May has been going up pretty consistently. If you type in PATH to see the tickers here, you'll see that PATH has since May been pretty consistently going down. In fact, here's May and it's been going straight down. So now this is not 
always as simple as, oh, okay, one stock went up, the other stock went down, so let's rebalance, although that's exactly what Kathy does. Sure, there are some cases she might say, hey, UI path is a 3% allocation, we're gonna bump it to a 4% allocation, and we're gonna take 1% off of a different stock, like Apple or whatever else, which is something that Kathy does. She sees Apple and Amazon as cash parks, and plays like UI path or Tesla as big return opportunities, so that when it's time to buy the dip, she'll lower her allocations in other these sort of cash park stocks, and instead she'll concentrate down into these stocks that have dipped. And so her opinion and sort of the, the way she kind of manages her fund is that the more frothy the stock market gets, the more she'll broaden out her investments. And the more the stocks, uh, the stock market in general falls or stocks individually fall, the more she'll concentrate into those opportunities. That's been her management style, her belief, and she's been very, very clear about that. So this could be a method of her diversifying into opportunities that she thinks are going to be uh, strong, profitable opportunities, essentially buying the dip, while at the same time just rebalancing her Tesla allocation to consistently be where she wants it to be. So this is, in my opinion, not a signal of, oh my gosh, Kathy is selling out of Tesla. It's just a signal of rebalancing and basically buying the dip in accordance with the rules of the exchange traded funds she set up. But it's not just that. It's also the fact that Kathy's funds have been seeing more net withdrawals, unfortunately. See this red line here? Anytime the line is above the red line, like what we had at the end of last year or beginning of this year right here, anytime the line is above the red line, it means Kathy Wood uh, and, and her funds are growing. Her funds are getting larger, uh, which is good. You get money coming in, that means you could literally just keep buying. If you have $100 and 10 of that is into Tesla and then somebody deposits another $100, you could go buy another $100 of Tesla, right? But now, if somebody deposits $100 and then the very next day takes that $100 back out, you may have bought $100 or that, I'm sorry, that $10 of Tesla. And the very next day, you might have to sell that $10 of Tesla because people want their money back. That's the way an exchange traded fund works. It's a big pool. People put money in, Kathy buys. People take money out, Kathy has to sell. And if you look at the line over here, the last three months, the line has been substantially below on average the red line versus above there have been more net outflows as compared to inflows. This is about $200 million here on the spikes per day of outflows. Uh, I would say the average is probably somewhere closer to about 30 to $50 million in outflows per day. Uh, and that would be netted with, with some of the gains over here. So maybe closer to 30, $40 million of outflows per day. But the point is, those are still outflows per day. You are having people net net withdraw money from your fund. So you have to sell stocks to give them their money back. That is just the way an exchange traded fund works. Hopefully this gives you some perspective. Keep in mind, Kathy Wood is still very bullish on Tesla. She's expecting a 300% return by 2025, especially based on, or, or you know, if you look back at some of her earlier buy the dips uh, in May, where Tesla's price was in the 500s. And folks, if you like my perspective, always remember, check out the programs linked down below on building your wealth. Yeah, the price goes up over time. The next coupon code does extend or does expire rather this Friday coming up. So that is in six days. Check that out. Link down below. Can't wait to see you there. More lectures coming soon, folks. We'll see you again very soon. Bye.